hello, hello, and welcome to a special episode of the Chocolate Bros. I'm Sam Riley. And I'm Zach Burrell. Yeah, we're just going to get started. So basically what we did is we decided that uh, we're leaving for Kansas at, uh, I think, like 3 in the morning. So five hours from now. Yep. Just I about. didn't even think about that. So we're leaving, <laughs> we're leaving about five hours. Um, well, we're waking up and then going to the airport, sitting there for two hours, and then flying out. <laughs> yeah. So I I think that – so what we did, basically did is I opened up for questions on the, the FFTCG fans page. <laughs> Uh, which I knew, can I, of worms. I, I knew it was going to be a can of worms. Uh, I decided to do it anyway, so that would be fun. Um, the one question I said that I would not answer is what deck that we were playing. Right. Um, which is for obvious reasons. Um, also, like, you know, we don't know the exact list. So my deck is in this, like, cute little Dragon Ball box with this Mewtwo. Yeah, it's totally a troll. Um, my, deck's, my deck's in there, as it is right now. The cards that I may or may not put in the deck, however I open this box are right here <laughs> these are all just cards that could go in or out of the deck because i don't want to bring all my cards i'm not crazy like zach yeah he brings every one of his cards so these are the cards that may or may not go so yeah i actually the, the, the honest answer is i wouldn't know if we're gonna what well, exactly we're gonna play the exact right. list but in general i know the type of deck so let's just you want to just get started yeah absolutely. all right so here we go we're just, just gonna go answer down these, this list <laughs> these questions um before all right akimoto asked before you left for kansas I want to hear for predictions of who will top four of the people you know going, or who you want to play while you're there. What decks will be uh, will be played that'll surprise people? Thanks and good luck. All right. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more lightning there than you expect to see anywhere else. As, so as I recall, when we were in Kansas last, yeah. they really like their lightning cards. They do, yeah. Um, there's one person we're already pinning on mono lightning, uh, yeah. and then there's also a couple others who were playing like the Knights EX deck. They're playing lightning fire. Yeah, uh, and that was back in like Opus Four. So yeah. I think we're gonna expect to see more saturated yeah. lightning. Yeah, uh, we're not playing lightning. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I think the lightning deck is is relatively simple to play, but I don't have enough yeah. skill on it f for various matchups. Yeah. So I'm not comfortable on it. Had I known like there was a really good version, um, the version with um, like the big knight package that beats up a mono ice, then I would consider testing it. But I didn't learn about that deck close enough to Kansas that I yeah. seriously considered it. Um, who who will I want to play while I'm there? I would love to gunsling against uh, Richard Brady. Um, Is Kageyama coming to this one? I don't think so, because he attacked so. himself in Spain. Oh, okay. So, uh, I didn't get to play Jake Lee last time. I would like to right. play against him. Play host, um, yeah. I want to play against Lopez. Uh, I would love to play against Ben. Yeah, I'd like a rematch against Lopez, for yeah. sure. I, I really just I want to play against all the, like, the well-known players. That, uh, well, I don't even know the whole list of people who are going. That's like, fair. Yeah. Like I know I saw like Nicholas Schnell's going, right? Yep. Uh, we have Hunter Nance I know is going. Yep. Is Max going? Williams? No. I think he's trolling the um, oh, okay. so he's the Gainesville up. page. Okay. The, the Gainesville gotcha. LQ. Yeah, so okay. he's a, he, he's going to troll that and see who he can block from going. <laughs> uh, so good luck there, by the way, Max. Um, what a prediction will top four out of the people I know? Okay. The people that I think will do well. Um, I... It's hard for me to bet against Hunter Nance because he did so well recently. Right. And I think that the the Tricolor Monsters deck is really, really good. Um, Adam Lane also has a lot of experience with that deck, and Curtis does as well. I, I wouldn't actually be surprised if all three of those guys top four. I think that that deck is really well positioned. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't surprise me, I guess. I don't know. The problem is, is like, like they're going to do well or like... Mono Ice featuring Emperor will beat yeah. them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that that's what I could see happening. Yeah. Like, so those are the people I expect to top. I'm trying to think. I, I would not surprise me if Ben topped. Um, and this is top four specifically, though. This isn't yeah. top eight. He's. Yeah. I'm and, hoping and that day two is sixteen, which I just learned earlier when I read the read is the it page. Top sixteen. Day two okay, is top that, sixteen. That's what it was in Boston too. Yep. Okay. My honest thing is, I I hope that Zach and I top four. Um, right, I guess that that's the goal. Turbo I don't know finals. I, I have no idea if that's <laughs> if that's going to happen. So no, the worst is going to be if we make top eight and we're paired against each other, and one of us gets to nationals, the other one like just stone both can't. <laughs> yeah, that could happen. But all right, so I think that we answered that one. Who you want to play? With? What deck? What deck will be played that will surprise people? Um, I think that the the Kageyami's Mono Fire deck would it would surprise me if it. It wouldn't surprise me that much if we saw play, but it would surprise other people. Yeah. Um, I played against it on in 
the an octagon or on octagon like maybe like 10 times out of the last. I watched you play it like three yeah. times, yeah. So it's actually pretty popular. I don't know if it's good though or not. It might have just been popular you. because it was so yeah. close to being after the video released. All right, I want to hear who you think will win in an intellectual debate. <laughs> Firenor or Shinra Soldier? My bet is on Firenor because he'll <laughs> yell at Shinra Soldier until he RQs. Huh. Um, let me check. Hold on, guys. One second. Oh, Pull up the bad list right here. Oh, gosh. Oh, I took the wrong list. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, hold on. Or Fire Nor. Toxic rules of player. Shinra Soldier, Toxic Swearing Player, argues, not great on rules. <laughs> you actually have a list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I've never not... actually seen it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, the honest answer is, I don't know, man. Whatever. Like, here's the thing, guys. If you're being a jerk on Octagon, like, you were just ruining the game. And you're going to make the list. There's an actual list. Like, just don't don't be added to this list, okay? All right. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or 50 duck-sized horses? Duck-sized horses. Duck-sized horses. I, I think so, too, man. Like, the, duck, the, can you imagine the beak on that? Yeah. A horse-sized duck. Like, imagine that. Scale that up. Yeah, no, that's It'd true. Rough. It could all, it would eat you too. And but the, the kicks from the duck-sized horses aren't going to be so bad. You ever watched the old uh, Jurassic Parks? Like the I talked about this scene literally today at work. Really? Is it the, the little is guys? The little guys? In the rain yeah, and he just, just like, kicked them. Just, yeah. Yeah. And then like, they all swarmed. <laughs> yeah. So. But I feel like the, the those would be awkward, right? Like the duck-sized horses aren't be kind of yeah. So know, that they don't have many tools. All right, do's and don'ts uh, from Jason. Hey, Jason. Uh, like, do you expect this deck? Don't be surprised if. Do expect ice. Don't be surprised if it tops. <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, the three, the four best decks. I've made the mistake of saying three. Or the four best decks, in my opinion, in order, are mono ice, tricolor monsters, probably Riku Mill, and then mono lightning. I'm not sure. Of course, like mono water for soya, like. Um, the fire, the fire, ice, like heavy aggro decks, like those are good decks too. Like yeah. those, those decks could do well, but those are the top four. Uh, those are the do's. You need to expect that. Um, what about the don'ts? Um, don't hesitate to call a judge if your opponent's playing too slow. That's a big and one. And if you're playing slow, don't be surprised if your opponent yeah. calls a judge. <laughs> don't be a douchebag if your opponent calls a judge on you for playing slow. Um, this is a true story that had happened to me. I call the judge because my opponent was playing slow. I'd really, I'd, I'd ask very nicely, like if they could play a little quicker a bunch of times. Yeah. And I just, you know, so I was just like, hey, I call the judge. Hey, would you mind watching just to make sure like we're both playing at a reasonable rate? I was really polite about it. You know, he was not happy. Um, he was miserable about it. He was a jerk about it. Later, the next day we got home and I, I have a different, you know, Facebook name as I do, surname. The yeah. next day I got home, he messaged me He's like, oh my gosh, if I realized that was you, I wouldn't have been that way, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Wait, just you should don't treat be, everybody the same. Just don't be a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a jerk. So yeah, don't, the the don'ts are don't be a jerk, man. Um, mm. Also, yeah, don't play Mono Fire tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> or Saturday. Who is Mr. Worldwide? I don't actually know the answer to that. I, th I heard rumors that the person's name is Chad. It's not Chad from Tampa. Okay. I, I actually don't know. Who is Bossman69? Bossman69 is Nolan Sorrento's password from a movie. So if you don't know a movie, look it up. Okay. Why does this Space Jam kid keep DCing from games, and is he really the world's most toxic player? Uh, <laughs> D. Marcus Williams is not the most toxic player, and he DCs because he's got crappy internet in Australia, I guess. Although it did seem, uh, it did seem, really like some ironic timing last time he DC'd against Chad, so not the same Chad as Mister Worldwide, if that is really his name. Um, <laughs> That's even your name. All right, yeah. yeah. Talk about best of one versus best of three, lol, and how you decide to go first or second against Mono Ice. These this might trigger people. Okay, best of three is one hundred percent better than best of one. It's not close. But I'm okay with best of one. It's working. It's working. Yeah. It, it, considering the time, like, it's fine. Do best of, does best of three advantage 
more experienced players? I think so. Obviously, Probably. Like, yeah, yeah. Of I course. mean, anytime you give would I want a, a better three? player more turns yeah. and more options, like they're gonna do better. Yeah, I, I would like to see turns be best of three. Um, yes, I know it'll take longer, but like right. these, th- I, also, I, come best- from a ba- I come from a magic background. These right. like here's play two rounds, then go on an hour long lunch. Yeah, is like I don't need that lunch. I don't yeah. need that break. In fact, it's like frustrating to me. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I don't, I don't need that break. I'm okay with the turns being a little bit longer. I'm. Also okay with best of one. So stop freaking out about it, but guys. But best of three also, if they do ever change to that, they have to yeah. bump it a little up from 70 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, maybe, maybe so 80, my honest, but... yeah, that, that's a good point. If it is ever changed to best of three, I don't like 70 minutes. I hate 70 At minutes. At least 75, 80 preferred. I think 80 is good, yeah. 90 is not necessary, but 80 right. would be preferred. Yeah. I think untimed top eights, by the way. Untimed top eights. Also deck lists for top eights? That's happening. It is happening. 100% happening. For happened. top 16 or... Top like 16, so we'll two. know going into day two what Sweet. the deck lists are. Okay. So, cool. we'll, you know, we'll be testing if we make day two. Awesome. Um, how do you decide to go first or second against Mono Ice? Well, you have to know they're on Mono Ice. That's step yeah, one. Yeah, you have to be in top 16 <laughs> um, or know your player. Or be Lopez. done very early round one and yeah. run around the tables. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I always take the play. Um, I also don't have, like, a great losing record on... on the draw so I, I don't think there's a giant difference i think hunter nance actually pointed out one of the things that he was saying is that there's not a giant difference i agree i don't think there's a huge difference i think this game comes a lot more down to like player skill than it does being on the player draw i there are hands though where i like like i was playing against someone today and they went like turn turn one just turn one like ice backup like it's different if they went argaf but like they went yeah. turn one ice backup and i immediately was glad that i was on the draw but not because yeah. I not because I got an extra card, right. you know, depending on how you look at your math. But it was it was more like because I know how to sequence my next turn based mm-hmm. on what they have. So there was an advantage to me. I felt being on the draw. That being said, like I probably would have just made the exact same play on the play, right? Because that's just the optimal play. Um, so yeah, I just choose to go first probably against Mono Ice, and maybe that's wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Um. Richard Brady asks, have you thought about what deck archetypes interest you in Opus 6 based on the current previews? If so, which interests you the most? Three plus color summons. That's all I was going to say. Yep. <laughs> Just all, all summons.deck. Uh, Akimoto asks, why did Golbez stop seeing as much play as it previously did? Opus because one we Golbez. have to deal with ice now, and it just doesn't... That's it. Like, the fact yep. that discard is heavy on the meta, we can't handle that. Yep. I say we, because this is... It's yeah. what I played forever. Yeah, uh, you can just go, like, even if you, like, go all out with your Golbez, like, they're just going to vein. Right? Yeah, and people ask me, well, like, well, you can play it. Uh, you just have to, you know, you dump your hand like you do anyway. I'm like, okay, sure. sure. And then they play Sid Alstein. And or Zalera. Guy, or Zalera. Right, yeah. Or dumping your yeah, hand like with you that break... deck is not what you, where you want to be. You want to have cards. Right, you, you break have your options. Golbez. You have, you have Gilgamesh things to be doing. Uh, you have Raubans you want to save for removing targets, et cetera, yep. et cetera. It's just not good right now for it, especially with monsters. Like, yeah. monsters also are very rough for the deck. Okay. And do, Balfour. Do oh. you have a plan for... Oh, and Balfour. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a plan, a, a game plan for water earth control? Or more likely, how do you plan to deal with the earth water mirror? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max. Max. <laughs> okay. So, 100% honesty. I want... I would love to go back to Kansas and play water earth monsters. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me just say this, actually. It's not out of the line. It's not out of... The question. Right. The the cards to play Water Earth Monsters are in here. But there's also <laughs> Genesis is in here. Yeah. There's also um, Probably some number of Argath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's literally there's versions of every type of deck that I want to play in here. The only cards that are not in here, and this is why I said I'm not playing, is uh Mono Lightning. And that's because I lent it to Alfred. Mm-hmm. Um so, well, you could borrow from me, but then we both don't have it. Right. Sure. Yeah. So I'm probably not playing Earth Water or Water Earth Control, but man, I I want to. I really, really want to. And I think like Schrodinger's Cat is like such a huge like buff to the archetype. I did see a sweet deck. Uh, I think today uh, that used Don't, just let's, it was let's like stop. Water Earth with like Yuri Angel that brought back Hill Giants and some crazy stuff like First that. First off, Hill Giant is garbage. Okay, <laughs> so like I was te- I was testing some decks. Uh, I was like, I, I had like, um, I was testing the mono ice deck, which had like the guest Jespers and I was testing the monster deck, which had obviously monsters. And I was testing for soya deck, which had Tom berries and for soya. And like, every time my opponent played a hill giant against me, I was like, okay, like <laughs> your deck's so bad. 
And I would end before we lose Tail Giant. But right, right. It yeah. was just so bad. But Max Man, I I, I want I want to play. I do. I want to play that deck so bad. I mean, it gained it gained Razzler, which like we already played Ash because of the archetype we were when it, we were going in. We expected a lot of Ice and Mono Lightning. Right. So now we're going into the same exact field, and Ash just seems really good if you can pump her, and then you have Razzler. Um, it gained Star Sybil and Cam. It is hard to deal with. The, the problem is, is that like the it got so many good Earth backups like Star Sybil, um, but like you should probably play si- uh, Simi if you're playing Star Sybil, but also like There's it makes your Cognosos worse. Water works. Earth Wind is probably there's yeah. some, something there. Yes, Water Earth Wind. That's what I'll play. <laughs> so, but yeah, your Cognosos are just worse. Whereas like Cognoso was so good in that my old Kansas deck. All right. Uh, Chanel asks, maybe talk about the Dialuma Cactar counters in each element. Uh, it's making new or newer casual players at my locals pretty upset. Uh, for Soya, counters Dialuma Cactar, and it's not close. So The base. light one, you mean? Yeah. yeah. So it, there you go. In every color, in every deck, you can just play for Soya. It happens to be my favorite card. <laughs> I, I happen to be biased against it or for it, I guess, maybe. But it does it really does counter that combo because they can't They ping it once. They can't ping it, it because then you just Fasoya it. Yeah, I mean, if you have a bunch of fours on the board, that's gonna look really bad for you. Yeah. But you know, if you're playing the like Dan Dan wins like old deck that we played in the Jacksonville one K mm-hmm. that had like the, it's like all summons basically in Fasoya, yeah. then you're probably fine. Like that's a good way to counter it. And plus like if you're playing like a monster Fasoya deck, he can't target your monsters until right, yeah. you animate him, so Yeah. Alright. Um why was Luigi not in Smash? Um <laughs> I have no idea. Because Nintendo. I mean why is <laughs> Sora not in Smash? I guess they did have a Final Fantasy character. Uh, they had a cloud. Eh. Who is your Final Fantasy Wafu? Uh, is is there a hotter female character in Final Fantasy than Tifa? There's not, right? Probably I mean, not. There's not. No. I mean, people that say, like, lightning, like, at least... No, there's no. Tifa, it's not close. Oh, it's funny. My, uh, my, my step-uncle played through 10 yeah he was obsessed with lulu like he was just he had the biggest crush on her it was so creepy it was hilarious and this is when i was like 12 watching him like swoon over. i've been in such league of legends mode that took me forever to figure out what lulu looked like in my oh head. yeah i was just like <laughs> what lightning backup <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then my mind went to india for some reason when i tried to like make yeah, the yeah. conversion all right uh so i tifa not close for me i mean I, it is close Aerith is really close really yeah for that's me, all the sevens just well, no, I just, like, Tifa's hot, but Aerith's got that, like, you take her home to your mom, you know? <laughs> the nice girl. Yeah, Nice yeah. girl next door thing. Right, yeah. Yeah. I Probably. I'd have to actually think about it. Okay. What is your five-point plan to get a Dragoon playmat from Thailand for Akimoto? How much would that cost? <laughs> <laughs> um, bribe Joshka. Wait, wait, wait. Profit. GoFundMe.com. <laughs> okay yeah, that's not a bad plan um how many arms do i have to acquire before i can build a full-scale replica of the eiffel tower if it helps i'm talking about french arms in particular asking for a friend i don't get the reference i'm uh, lost yeah and are we talking about like are you building like a scale full-scale replica like in the winter or in the summer because oh wait a second is there a reference might be uh, i don't get the reference either acquire four Continue. Okay. <laughs> Talk about it later. <laughs> All right. Four. Final answer. No questions asked. How many real questions do you expect Max to ask on this thread? I expected zero. Zero real questions, but I saw zero about foil so far. It's true. Wait, wait, there's still more to go, though. I'm sure. Yeah, there's still more. I haven't read them. We haven't read all these like that much. So, um, yeah. And Joe asks a math question. Give me some time. It's been a long time. No, not right now. I mean... <laughs> okay, I'm going to scroll a lot. You read these next few. So Matt asks, 2 plus 2 equals 4. What is 4 minus 1 equal quick maths? 21. Is that a question? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's below the other math one. Oh. 
Okay, when, keep going. when am I going? To, Alfred Clausen asks, "When am I going to catch up to the meta, or am I destined to be infinitely far behind?" You're destined to always play Cecil in every oh, deck, you, no matter you what. Max, your question. I, right. <laughs> oh, did you do it on purpose? What is the deck you are playing? I didn't read. I was, I'm trying to figure out the math question. <laughs> what is the deck you are playing this weekend? Play testing and win loss record. Um, fifty cards. Uh, X what? and O. No, he's asking like. Yeah. No, it's lost. My my. My playtest, my record with the deck right now is 56 and 1. I've won 56 games and I've lost one. Um, I lost one game to Mono Earth. Um, Mono Earth is annoying. Yeah, it was a huge, it was a huge misplay. Oh man, it was so big. <laughs> anyway, huge misplay. Open up the wounds. So 56 and 1, I know like if you, if you hear that, you're probably thinking like, that seems really good, right? Uh, mind you, this is all on Octagon against. Uh, and this is iterations of the deck too. It's not the same. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've cha- every it's single game. I, every single game of, of maybe like, I don't know. I've played like a hundred different games. Fifty six with this like exact iteration, but like I change a card or two like every few games. So, but even then, like this is against like random people playing random decks. Sometimes it's like. Uh, the Not other day I played a bad version of Monoplayer. Shinra Shoulder, sh- 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 yeah, Shinra Soldier, playing um, cadets. So like, you know, you, you take it for what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know how many of those decks were mono ice? Zero. And fifty six games on Octagon, I played against mono ice zero times. So. Maybe everyone just assumes it's maybe that's everybody's backup deck. They're just like if I can't figure out anything else, an easy mode or easy yeah. mode, just go back to it. There was a, there was a version of this deck that I was playing that lost two out of five games. Two, yeah, it lost two out of five games against Matiski in the testing. So it, it was actually pretty close. So maybe the deck is like sixty and three or, or, or so. But it, either way, like this is a you know it, it's it's your random octagon people. So that's that's the problem is I, I haven't had like a lot of testing because our locals aren't firing, so I haven't had a lot of like actual testing. Um, yeah. Anyway, when am I going to catch up to the meta, or am I destined to be infinitely far behind? That was my Cecil answer. <laughs> what was your answer? I said uh, you're destined to play Cecil forever. And whether he's in the meta or not is going to answer that question. I considered if I should have brought Cecils with me or not. So uh, Earth one, yeah. Oh no, Earth Earth Cecils are in this box. Okay. <laughs> Water Cecils are not in this box, but I but I thought about bringing the retargeting them. one or like the lightning rod or the pump. Um, the pump one. The lightning rod would be hilarious because people yeah. never have to deal with it. It's true. Um, and also ice. like if you played it against I like guess ice, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, Dolan. Yep, Dolan. Yep, Dolan. <laughs> Well, also, like, if you played against, like, the Monsters deck, like, they have to add a man toys to your guy and stuff. So it's, like, pretty cool. Um, all right. Am, or, I, Alfred, like, if you don't sell your cards... Also. Then you will be way more caught up. But, yeah, I don't, you just keep borrowing from me. Alfred's the guy borrowing my Mono Lightning deck for this weekend. Um, so, good luck, Alfred. Yeah. Um, another honest question that might help newer or helpless play, helpless players. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> helpless players. Early game survival guide against discard play styles. Example: Lightning can play Black Mages, Rigvia, sort of kill Thumb, and how to get blown out by dumping your hand. How not to get blown out by dumping your hand. Um, I think against every deck in the format right now, you should be having a lot of two drop backups. Yeah. So you probably want to play them both on turn one anyway. Um, that being said, I don't think dumping your hand is the way that Mono Ice is going to beat you. Do they have things like Sid Austin to punish you for that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I think that's just a risk you have to, like, that's one card. What are you gonna do, keep cards in your hand instead so they get discarded? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I think like you can play, play your, your guys on turn one if you have to, like if you know the matchup, um, mm-hmm. and just play smart. I mean like, you know, if, if you're playing like a wall deck, for example, like, don't attack unless unless you have the ex burst ability turned on, you know. Right. Or, or don't attack till you draw the wall. I mean, don't don't you know don't don't play. Oh, here, oh, here's what happens all the time online. Okay, when I'm playing Sid Austin, they discard their cards to play things and then attack me. Don't do that. Yeah, that's. that's don't the, do that. And I'm just yeah. like, no blocks. Hit Sid Austin. All right. Um. So Zach's almost here. Then we're recording this. That's now. 
How lit is fire water and mono water aggro going to the next set based off the current spoilers in card pool? Fire water could be sweet. Uh, about, like, we'll Min have Woo? to see if there's enough things though. Like Minwoo and uh, no, there was uh, I forget what the card was. These are Earth cards. You know, so funny. I used to be the guy who's like, I'll never play Earth. Earth is the one element I won't play. <laughs> well, you won't play Mono Earth. You don't like playing just big dumb things. Oh no, I would play Mono good, Earth but... right now, man. Like Ingus, Ruban, sure. like Hecaton, like and oh. Wall. And Wall, yeah, Dataluma, yeah. You, you, it wouldn't be that hard to convince me to play Mono Earth, but I used to think it was dreadful. Um, Rice's favorite vegetable. I said how that was. Brussels sprouts. That? It's broccoli. Is it? It is broccoli. Uh, more replies is it down there? Yeah, this is one point three six. Um, about one point three six. Is it really? Yeah, no questions. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Joe, your answer one one point three six roughly. Not not exactly. Definitely not exactly. Um. How much would an FFTCG shitposting page help or hinder the community? Sometimes people can help themselves. AKA me. Uh, I think the problem is people don't know when they're shitposting. There is a shitposting <laughs> page. Kind of. No, it's just like there's a Final Fantasy fans page and like people post there. It's not the TCG. Um, and it's just really random, but I guess it's not really like shit posting. But would it help? No. I don't know, man. But yeah, like I said, like people just need to relax. And so, like, sometimes if you need to get out your. Vin- Wait, isn't that. Don't we have that? Like. The which one? Th- like, sometimes I feel like. Ah, never mind. We'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> On to this question, FFTCG fans or FFTCG US? Um, Zach? Uh, US. US. See, I say fans. Fans. For some reason, whenever you start to like put everybody together, there's way more BS that happens. No, 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 no. The same guy trolls both pages. Well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about, in general, just like, personalities seem to mix worse on the fans page. In That's general. fine. That's fair. Yeah. Um, the fans page tends to let conversations run their course a little bit more. Um, yes. they're not, they won't That's snap, true. turn off commenting like I did here. I only turned it off so I could answer the actual questions. Right, right. Yeah, I could actually turn this back Otherwise on. Otherwise, it would just keep refreshing. And Yeah, yeah uh, let me just do this real quick. Um, turn on commenting. All right. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. So the the they, they tend to let them run their course a little bit. I have nothing against the U.S. page. I like the U.S. page, and and my favorite guy, James Lockwood, is uh, helps run it. So, right. uh, I only but I am a mod for the fans page. Um, I like what we do with our moderation group. The mods are like really active and like mm-hmm. discussing posts and and how things should run and and just and helping like keep it running smoothly. Right. But they do let it run its course a little bit. Yeah. Which um, I think is always good. Like, yeah, while some, it can get toxic, like you have to just let them do it. Unless yeah. it gets to like you know threats or something, then of course that's not cool. But I I, mean, I, I tend argue. to I tend to agree. I think I think the line for me is like when people start calling each other names. Like I I get it. You guys you guys probably think it's like not a big deal, but it's just like a crappy thing to do to like. Yeah. I, I feel like, but also like. But I'm also very, like, let people talk, let them say what they want to say. I usually am, too. Don't censor, like, yeah. just, whatever. So, uh, the one question that wasn't asked is, what playmat will you be bringing? And that makes me really sad, because I have a whole bunch. So, oh, like, no. I'm kind of trying to decide. I bring Cloud. Sign. Yeah. Trying to get the corner. Yeah, there you go. Trying to get the corner. There we go. Yeah. 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 The winter cup. Yeah. My wrapped... <laughs> still in the Play wrapping. with it while it's wrapped. Play with it still while it's wrapped. Okay. Play with the one that is unwrapped. Um, this one's from Boston. Also signed. I do want one of those. Somewhere over here. Sweet. Yeah. I don't know where the sign- signature is. Oh, there it is. Signed also. Uh, oh, what focus else went have? crazy. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, the troll one. So this matches this. I've never played this game in my life. I love the show, though. It's great, great, great show. Yeah, regionals! <laughs> Where's your Yu-Gi-Oh, it? Matt? I don't... We don't talk about that. <laughs> um, or play on my Fasoya, Matt. Yeah. Or, or my Tifa, Matt, which I can't find, and I'm really upset about that, actually. I tried to find it before Zach got here, but I couldn't find it. Or I could just play on my cube box. Just lay out my cards right on the cube. 
Make a playmat out of your cube. Just summon. Yeah, maybe. My, yeah. Just you know, just change cards mid deck. But yeah, I think that's it. No more questions, right? Did you see the longevity? Of the, do you see? Ooh, do you see the longevity of the game long term? What needs to change in order for it to last? Listen, if I didn't think it was gonna last long term, I wouldn't be spending the amount of money it takes to fly to a different state to play in a tournament. Like I wouldn't be invested in it if I didn't think it was gonna be a long term thing. That's. That's fair. If if they said that like Final Fantasy was ending with Opus Seven, I would still be going to Kansas. That's a, I think that's a difference though. Okay. Um, but yeah, I guess I would place less value in the cards. Right. Yeah. Do like, I? I wouldn't little... be trying to foil everything. I wouldn't be trying to. Or maybe I would because I guess if it gets canceled, then they might be worth more. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, do I see the longevity of this game long term? I I I don't see a way that they could screw it up. Right, because the, fans, that's are, the, actual the thing. fans are so devout. Yes. Right? Everyone uh, loves the devout. game. Yes. Everyone <laughs> loves the game. Uh, if people don't, they've left. Like, we've seen it in our locals. We've seen it yeah. nationally, internationally. So, look, people... people it's still growing. Yeah, people want best of three. I think people generally want untimed top eights. I think people want a lot of things. I think they make compromises where they can. Um, and they're they're learning. And they're, they're making improvements. Like, us having access to deck lists going into day two. Right. For huge. Kansas is is amazing. It's, it's right. a huge thing for Literally us. Literally game changing. Yeah. Um. I really was going to like ask not to be on stream at all. Yeah. Up up until the top cut, if mm -hmm. otherwise. Um. So, what need what needs to change in order for this to last? All right. What would change to make the game? I was um, saying, like, like, I think it has nothing. Like, yeah. yeah, it has nothing to do with the FFTCG team. I think if it if if there needs to be change, it has to do with either Square Enix themselves, yes. they need to, like, prioritize FFTCG more. Right. Um, like, they need to hire more people. They like, have to realize and take a look. Maybe they are, and maybe we don't know. Maybe there's something that's yeah, like a know. year down the line, and they're just planning ahead and taking it slow. But look at what's happening and what the complaints are. See how easy they are to fix, and then fix them and try it. Yeah. Like, it's still so young, you can afford to make some aggressive changes to either formatting or whatever else. Yeah. Uh, the game is... The game itself is solid, right? Like we yeah. can grind that. Like it's, we've I, both been pulled away from Magic to play it. It's like, yeah, it's my it's, favorite game. Obviously, it's really good. And that alone can help carry the game because yeah. some people play games just for the like mechanics itself. And then we put the fans base is huge. Like there's people who come to our stores and buy boxes just because they you know enjoy the like games and <laughs> not even the TCG, but they just collect them. Yeah, I don't. So like it'll sell. Now we just need to. Yeah, it also people. has the name, right? Like, it has Final yeah. Fantasy. Right. What would stop it from succeeding? I don't, no idea, man. Like, Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy. It's, just gonna, it's gonna do well. Like, they have the upper leg. Um, yeah. The downside is that they're competing against Yu-Gi-Oh! Things that they have to consider is like... Like, I have never... I've never played this game. Um, but I heard it's, like, pretty broken. And a lot of the things about it aren't, like, fun. Yeah, it's, and it's super imbalanced yeah. towards the promos. So, Imagine if, like, to be viable, you had to have three Dark Sephiroth promos, three Lightning promos, and three Vincent promos. Lol. I picked those because they're different than the actual, yeah. they're not just reprints of, like, or yeah, different yeah. arts or whatever. DBZ, I, I've heard, again, I also haven't played, but this is the complaint I've heard from close friends, is it's just, if you don't have the $50 promos, the rest of your dollar cards aren't good. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Yeah. Like it's super weighted on the promos, and you have to have the promos to win to win yeah. your promos to play the game. So I don't know what happened with with in your guys' area, but uh, DBS hurt us a bit, um, quite, quite a bit. bit. Um, and those people aren't even playing DBS now. Yeah, but they sold their Final Fantasy cards, and now they're not playing DBS. Um, yep. So you, you, I mean, you know how to you, you sell back to the to your LGS. You want to support your LGS or whatever. That's fine. I have nothing against that, but you know. Now they can't afford to buy back into Final Fantasy. I think also maybe LGS is taking a few more risks with the game, maybe? Like, sure, being yeah. willing to put themselves out there and invest a little more into events and prizing. And well, maybe, they, they did add two distributors, right, though? So they, that's going to that's gonna help for the Wait, LGS side. Did they add side. two, or did they I think they, total two? No, they added two, I believe. Okay, that'd be sweet. So, I, I, I don't think that they could do anything to, to change... In order for it to last, I think it's just gonna last. I think it is. Yeah. My, I guess my concern is, is I, I mean, I, I haven't played chapters, so this is mm -hmm. be more a question for Bond's corner. But like, I have no idea where the game's gonna be at, at on Op an Opus Twelve. It to last. Thanks, can't wait to watch. Um, I have no idea what it's gonna be like in Opus Twelve. I, I think that eventually we will need a rotation. 
So like, Maybe. so like, we ended at chapter fifteen, right? In Wait, the like a rotation set? with reprints, though. Sure. To, yeah. To keep some staples. In oh, of course. Yeah, ones. that's yeah. fine. Yeah, if they went to like a standard base set, yeah. like. Or maybe legends rotate something weird yeah. and crazy like that. That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, if they if they do like a base set rotation, um, yeah, I could see that. Just like like every, I I mean because the question is is like it, during Opus twenty one. Yeah. Sh- are we gonna is is Dataluma even gonna be good enough to see play? Yeah. You know. Or are there gonna be like three different types of cards that do what Dataluma does, and then the deck is just so focused that it's overpowered or something it almost feels like it's getting that way right now actually mm-hmm. ironically like when i'm building an ice deck like you have a tw- 20 different ways to make them discard <clears throat> if you're building a monster deck you have 20 different ways to reanimate your monsters yeah. you're building a fasoya deck well you have you know you are you playing leviathan the other leviathan the other leviathan <laughs> are you playing cooch lane are you playing fan fritz yeah are you also playing yuna and in the the win package with chaos walker are you playing about four like right it could also be... Like, things are redundant. Like, like maybe... Because I remember when we talked to Richard Brady at the Kansas Petit Cup. Yep. Uh, he told us Opus 5 will kind of solidify a lot of the archetypes that exist and give them more of, like, their own identity. Yep. So maybe that's where we are, and from now on we'll just see new kind of effects and archetypes that we can play with. And the stuff we have now is just going to be maybe one card here and there, but it's not going to, like, be a vast change. Like that's true. Like we like the mill deck's brand new, but yeah. maybe the mill deck won't really gain look, anything. I mean, look, if you guys want to see what they can do, they are supporting the. I mean, they're not calling it the cube format, but they're supporting the all star draft yeah. format, which is the cube format. Like that's insane. Like Magic's not even doing that. Well, I guess they are with the online. They, they, they online do it for cubes, an MCGO, but like, yeah. but they don't have GPS with 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 cubing. Like right. this is. I don't know, man. Like, I've had this built for... <laughs> you had what? it before they even announced it. I had it built for, like, four months now, and then they announced it, like, two months ago, and I was like, oh, that that is right. awesome. So, yeah, I think that's it, right? We're done. Um, so. Anything you want to say before we sign off? Uh, see you all in Kansas. All uh, right, yeah, we'll see you guys in Kansas. Uh, we'll see you on camera. Those guys, <laughs> particularly uh, D. Marcus Williams, good luck in Australia Regionals. Um, if you don't win it, you suck, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. You're going against Australians. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, Demarcus, good luck, man. Uh, I really am rooting for you. Um, Alfred, good luck in Gainesville. Yeah, I, I hope you get a second place to Maxwell Williams so that the invite gets passed down, but Maxwell <laughs> still gets to dream crush a bunch of people. Uh, but yeah, uh, signing off, I'm, I'm Sam Riley. I'm Zach Burrell. We'll see you guys later. later.